Hey, welcome to Fit in 15 daily exercise demonstration video and today I'm gonna show you the hamstring curl with the mat once again. It's one of the most versatile tool here. Alright, for those of you that wanna tone and strengthen your hamstring, when squats and lunges ain't enough for you, now you might wanna look into doing that, okay? So basically you just gotta have a nice tile where you can slide your mat around and a bit of dedication to commit to this exercise. Alright, so this is what it looks like. Let me just quickly demonstrate it for you to see. So start by flattening your back, alright? Arms down, supporting your body. As you pull your feet in, you're gonna raise your hips up slowly. Okay, now one more time for you to see. And up, so your hips and your knees bend at the same time, okay? Your hips raise and your knees bend at the same time. Now, three key points here I want to share with you is number one, when you lift your hips up off the ground, all right, make sure you don't hyperextend your back, meaning you don't arch your back too much that it starts to hurt and you want to focus on putting pressure on your hips and your hamstring, which is the muscles that you want to work, okay? All right, so once again, let's try to start off with your back flat against the ground and one, two, up and down. Okay, key point number two here is the alignment of your toes and your knees, okay? When you're sliding your mat in and out here, make sure you pay attention to your alignments between the knees and your toes. You don't want to have your knees buckling in or flaring out when doing that, okay? Right, key point number three here is make sure you're using your arms to support and your shoulders to form a strong foundation so that your neck doesn't have to take all the pressure of this hip elevation here. Okay, so arm strong, pressing it down. Okay, and up. Breathe in and up. Alright, guys, that's it. Three key points here. Key point number one, keeping your back nice and easy and flat. And then just relax your back, contract your glutes and hamstring. Okay, now key point number two, it's all about the alignments. Feet and knees alignments when sliding in and out. Very important, okay? All right, that way you can get better contraction down the hamstring, and plus you wouldn't really put any stress on your ligaments on the side here. Okay, key point number three, make sure you use your arms to support your body, use your shoulders to form a strong foundation, and your neck just relax and you breathe as you go. All right guys, try it out, let me know what you think. See you tomorrow, stay tuned for more.